Hello and welcome to my channel. So today I've got another three really simple high protein recipes for you. These can be batch cooked in advance for those days when you just need something quick and really tasty but you're short on time. And I will make sure I leave all the ingredients in the description box below this video, along with the calories per serving and all the macros as well. I hope you enjoy it. So for this recipe, I'm making a really simple creamy harissa chicken pasta. This is absolutely delicious. So I've actually got some fancy pasta, but you can obviously use any kind. I've got 300 grams. This recipe is gonna serve four people. So in here, I've got four chopped up chicken breasts. I like to try and do one per person. We've got two red onions and two red peppers. We're gonna need some tomato puree and some of the lightest Philadelphia or any light cream cheese you can find. Then I've got some harissa, some smoked paprika, garlic granules and cayenne pepper and obviously some salt and pepper. So the first thing I'm going to do, I've got a pan of water boiling for my pasta. So I'm gonna cook that and I'm gonna save some of the water to add to the sauce. So first things first, we're going to season our chicken. So I'm gonna use a tablespoon of harissa seasoning. I'm going to add a tablespoon of smoked paprika. Then one teaspoon of garlic granules. And then a tiny bit of salt and pepper. And then I'm just gonna really mix that through and give it a nice even coating. So I've just put the chicken to one side, let those flavors soak in, and we're gonna chop our peppers and our onions. So I've just heated up some spray oil in my pan and I'm gonna add in my chopped onion and pepper. And I'm also gonna add in my chicken. So now my chicken, my peppers and my onions are cooked. I'm just gonna add in my lightest Philadelphia. I will write all the ingredients out in the description box below this video, just in case you're wondering exact amounts, but there is 120 grams in here. So I'm gonna pop that in. So then I'm gonna add around four tablespoons of tomato puree. I'm just gonna do four squeezes. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit of my pasta water, just a little bit at a time to make the sauce. I'm gonna stir that through carefully. Wish I had a bigger pan to do this in, but this is the biggest one I have. Now we've got our sauce on the go. I'm gonna add another tablespoon of the harissa, another tablespoon of smoked paprika, and I'm gonna use a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Obviously it depends how much spice you like, you could always add less if you wanted to. Then I'm just gonna pop in my cooked pasta and the rest of the pasta water. And then we're gonna very carefully stir that through. Then I'm gonna bring it up to the boil and let the sauce reduce down a bit, add a little bit of seasonings if needed. And then we'll show you the next step. So here is our pasta finished. And what I will say with this recipe is if you're making it to eat now, like straight away, you don't need to add all your pasta water. But if you're making it like me to keep for a few days, then you definitely need to add most, if not all of the water that you cook the pasta in. Because pasta, as it cools, absorbs the water. And if you don't put enough in, then you're gonna be ending up with a really thick, stodgy mess. The more liquid you use, the better it's gonna be. This tastes amazing, I've just tasted it. It's on the spicy side, so adjust accordingly. If you're not keen on spice, you could leave out the cayenne pepper, or you could use less harissa as well. But it tastes absolutely amazing. I'm just gonna pop it in some tubs that I've just got out of the cupboard. And that attacked me, as I always do when you open the tub cupboard. I'm sure it's not just me, and the whole lot just fell on my head. Yeah, so I'm just gonna portion this up. This will keep in the fridge for up to four days, as long as you let it cool properly first. And I'm also gonna freeze a couple of mine. So here we are, I've just popped it into four tubs. They're four really decent portions as well. 
and I've sprinkled some fresh chives over the top just to give it a little bit of colour and I love chives. So that's my creamy harissa chicken pasta. I will leave all the details down below this video in case you want to make it yourself. So I'm going to let this cool completely and then pop it in the fridge. Okay so for this one I'm going to make a really quick and simple taco bowl. Well I'm actually going to make eight because I've got a big pack of mints, I've got some savoury rice. We're going to cheat, we're going to use the packet rice because it makes this the quickest meal prep you can do. It freezes really really well and it's so tasty. You can add loads of different toppings when you get it out of the freezer or fridge when you heat it back up you can top it with salsa guacamole tortilla chips you can put it in wraps you can put it in flatbreads very very versatile so i've got four packets of rice so half a packet of rice per person because these packs actually serve two so some's from lidl's and some is uncle ben's no, it's not Uncle Ben anymore, is it? It's just Ben. And I'm also going to be adding one tin of peeled plum tomatoes and maybe a little water, but we'll just see as we go. Two packets of taco seasoning, two onions. I'm going to use three peppers because I like the different colours. And then I've got 750 grams of 5% fat mince. And the first thing I'm going to do is chop up my veg and start frying that off with the mince. Then we're just going to add the taco seasoning mix in the rice and you're pretty much done. Really, really simple. And like I said, this one saves and reheats so well. So I'm just heating some spray oil in a pan. I just use the vegetable oil spray that I get in Sainsbury's. And then I've chopped up my peppers, so I'm gonna add those in first. Then I'm gonna add my onions. And I'm gonna give that a few minutes and then I will pop my minced beef into brown as well. So I'm gonna add in my minced beef and get it nice and brown now that the onions and peppers have started to soften and I'm just going to add in my taco seasoning so if you were only doing four portions obviously just half the recipe makes sense and you can still use a whole tin of tomatoes it won't make a lot of difference just maybe don't add as much liquid if I need to add any and then probably give it about 10 minutes for the mince to go really nice and brown and the peppers and onions to caramelize a little bit and then I will add in my tomatoes and some water if needed. So taco seasoning is all mixed through and cooked nicely so I'm going to add my tin of tomatoes and I'm also going to add about half a tin of water so I'm just going to rinse this out. Now as we like spice I'd be tempted to add a teaspoon of cayenne pepper or chilli powder here obviously that's completely up to you. The seasoning has got a mild kick but we like a little bit more. We'll also probably put some fresh chilies on the top when we serve them. I'm going to let that cook for a little bit longer, maybe add a little bit of cayenne pepper and then we're literally just going to mix it in with the rice and then you will just build your bowl as and when. So I literally just mixed in my rice, I need a bigger pan <laughs> and I'm going to show you it how I would serve it up and store it. So here it is all portioned up, I've just put it into eight different tubs. I have kept one portion out just to show you how I would serve it. So once I pull it out of the fridge or the freezer, chances are obviously I'd heat it up and then I've got some grated cheese, some tortilla chips, some jalapenos, some fresh coriander and just some sour cream or natural yogurt. Like I said, you could put it in wraps, you could top the tortilla chips with it and then put the grated cheese on that and melt it so you've got ready-made nachos. The possibilities are endless, but it's just another one of those things that is so good to have in the freezer. If you come home and you've had a busy day and you need something to eat, it's high protein, it's really full of fiber, really, really tasty and it takes a few seconds just to pop a few bits on the side and make a really decent meal. There's my minced beef taco bowls, all prepped and ready to go. So for my next prep recipe, I'm gonna be making a coconut lime chicken. This one is one of my favorites. I absolutely love anything coconut or lime, so it's great. As always, I'll pop all the quantities in the description box below this video so that you can get the exact amount. But I've chopped up four chicken breasts in here. I've got a garlic cube and a ginger cube. These are just the frozen ones. You could use fresh garlic and ginger if you wanted. Um, I just prefer the frozen, it's easier. So we've got some clear honey, some lime juice, and some dark soy sauce. I'm gonna use a tablespoon of curry powder just to give it a slight little taste of curry, but it doesn't really notice at the end, if that makes sense. We're gonna use half a tin of coconut milk. I've got the reduced fat one. I'm gonna use about 75 grams of this coconut yogurt, which just gives it a nice creaminess. Obviously salt and pepper to season, and then some edamame beans. So the first thing I'm gonna do is mix together my honey, lime, and soy. So we're gonna start off with two tablespoons of lime juice. I'm gonna add one tablespoon of dark soy sauce. I'm gonna add one tablespoon of clear honey. I'm 
give that a little mix together. So with the chicken, I'm just gonna season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. I will try and leave these salt and pepper meals linked in the description box because I get loads of questions about them and they're really, really good. They're USB rechargeable and I use them all the time. And have a little light on them. So I'm just gonna use about a tablespoon of curry powder. I've just got a normal medium curry powder and I'm just gonna sprinkle around a tablespoon of that. No, I'm not, so I can't open it. And then we're just going to mix that through. So I've just used a bit of vegetable spray oil in my pan and I've let that get hot and then added my chicken. So we're going to give the chicken about three or four minutes just until it starts going nice and brown. So once the pan is nice and hot and the chicken has started to cook, I'm going to add in my ginger and my garlic and just give it a few more minutes. I've added in my edamame beans. I've stirred those through. Now I'm going to put in my soy and honey mixture and 200 ml of the coconut milk. Stir that through. So you want to bring that back to the boil and let it bubble away for about 10 minutes until the liquid has started to thicken. It might take a bit longer, depends how high you have your heat. Okay, so now my liquid has reduced and the sauce has just got a lot thicker. I've taken it off the heat and given it a little stir around just so it's not absolutely boiling. And I'm just gonna add in my coconut yogurt. This is a really thick, creamy one. I think I got it in Aldi. Just about 75 grams or so. It just adds a little bit of sweetness and a little bit of creamy texture. So I'm gonna stir that through and then I'm just gonna pop it in some freezeable tubs because this is one that's going into the freezer. You could serve this over rice or noodles with flatbreads. My absolute favorite way, and you'll probably think it's strange, well you won't if you watch my channel, but my favorite way to serve this is with mashed potato because it's so saucy, but the flavor is so strong. Such an amazing gravy. It just goes perfectly with mash. Honestly, you need to try it. So I'll pop this into some dishes and I will show you the finished product. So I've just popped it in some freezer proof containers. You can keep this in the fridge or pop it in the freezer either way. So I'll top this one with some fresh coriander and some chopped spring onions. This is how I'd probably serve it. Maybe a few fresh green or red chilies on the top as well. And like I said, I would have it with mashed potato, but you could serve it with packet rice or instant noodles for a really, really quick meal and I can just pull it out of the freezer and it's already done. It tastes absolutely amazing. This is probably one of my favorite recipes and I really recommend you try it. So yeah, that is my curried coconut and lime chicken.